Chapter 1, The History and Evolution of Car Racing Car racing is a sport that has a long and fascinating history. From the early days of the paris rouen race in 1894 to the modern-day Formula One championship, car racing has evolved in many ways over the years. The paris rouen race was the first official car race in history, and it set the stage for what would become a popular and exciting sport. The race was organized to promote the new technology of the automobile. It was a 79-mile race from Paris to Rouen, and it featured 21 cars. The winner of the race, Count Jules Albert de Dion, drove his steam-powered car to the finish in just over six hours. After the success of the paris rouen race, car racing quickly began to evolve. In 1900, the famous Gordon Bennett Cup was held for the first time. This race was named after James Gordon Bennett, Jr., the owner of the New York Herald, who sponsored the event. The Gordon Bennett Cup was a major international racing event, and it attracted some of the best drivers and cars from around the world. In the early days of car racing, the sport was mostly open to wealthy enthusiasts who could afford the expensive cars and equipment. However, as the sport became more popular, it began to attract a wider audience. This led to the development of different types of car racing, such as stock car racing and drag racing. One of the biggest milestones in the history of car racing came in 1947, when NASCAR was founded. NASCAR was created as a way to organize and regulate stock car racing. The organization quickly became one of the most successful and influential racing bodies in the world. The 1960s and 1970s saw the emergence of Formula One racing, which quickly became one of the most popular and prestigious forms of car racing. The sport continued to evolve in the following decades, with the introduction of more advanced technology and safety features. Today, car racing is a global sport that attracts millions of fans and generates billions of dollars in revenue each year. The history and evolution of car racing is a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the thrill of competition. From the early days of the paris rouen race to the modern-day Formula One championship, Car racing has endured and thrived. It has brought together people from all over the world, creating a community of passionate fans and enthusiastic drivers. As the sport continues to evolve, new challenges and opportunities will arise. The development of new technology, such as self-driving and electric cars, is likely to change the face of car racing once again. However, no matter how much the sport changes, the history and legacy of car racing will always be an important part of its identity. Question, what are the earliest forms of car racing? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, The Different Types of Car Racing Car racing is a diverse and exciting sport that encompasses a wide range of types and styles. From the high-speed thrills of Formula One to the rough terrain of rally racing, each type of car racing offers its own unique challenges and rewards. Perhaps the most well-known and famous type of car racing is Formula One. This style of racing takes place on specially designed tracks, with cars that are specifically built for speed and agility. Drivers in Formula One must balance speed with strategy, carefully managing their tire wear and fuel consumption over the course of the race. With high-powered engines and lightning-fast lap times, Formula One is a thrilling and intense form of car racing. Another popular type of car racing is NASCAR. This style of racing originated in the United States and has become a staple of American motorsports. NASCAR races take place on oval-shaped tracks, with cars that are based on production models from popular car manufacturers. NASCAR races are known for their high speeds and close quarters racing, with drivers jockeying for position around the track in a battle for the lead. 
Rally racing is another type of car racing that challenges drivers with a unique set of obstacles and terrain. In rally racing, drivers must navigate through a variety of different environments, from dirt roads and gravel tracks to snow-covered trails and rocky mountain passes. Cars in rally racing are built for ruggedness and durability, with powerful engines and specialized suspension systems that can handle the rough terrain. Drag racing is yet another style of car racing that has gained a dedicated following over the years. Taking place on straight tracks, drag racing sees drivers competing to see who can accelerate their car the fastest over a short distance. With powerful engines and specially designed tires, drag racing cars can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just a few seconds, providing an adrenaline-pumping racing experience for drivers and fans alike. While these are some of the most well-known types of car racing, there are many others that offer their own unique challenges and thrills. From endurance races like the 24 Hours of Le Mans to street racing in cities around the world, car racing is a sport that continues to evolve and captivate fans around the globe. No matter what type of car racing you prefer, one thing is always true. It takes skill, determination, and a love of the sport to succeed. Drivers must be willing to push themselves to the limit in order to achieve victory, while fans must have a deep appreciation for the technical and strategic aspects of racing. So whether you prefer the speed of Formula One, the drama of NASCAR, or the rutted terrain of rally racing, there is a type of car racing that is sure to capture your imagination and provide hours of entertainment. With its diverse array of styles and types, car racing is truly a sport that has something for everyone. Question, what are the different types of car racing? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3, The Highs and Lows of Car Racing Car racing had always been a passion for Tom. The adrenaline, the speed, the thrill of the competition, he loved every single moment of it. But he also knew that car racing came with its fair share of risks. For every high-speed victory, there was the looming possibility of a devastating crash. Tom had seen it happen before, to both friends and foes. Injuries ranged from minor scrapes and bruises to serious, life-altering conditions. And yet, Despite the risks, Tom continued to push himself to the limits on the track. The highs of winning were like nothing else. Tom still remembered the first time he crossed the finish line in first place, the roar of the crowd, the rush of adrenaline, the feeling of pure triumph. It was enough to make all the pain and effort worth it. But for every win, there were lows. Tom still couldn't forget the time he crashed during a race, the sickening sound of metal smashing against metal as his car careened out of control. His body had been jolted violently, the airbag failing to properly cushion the impact. He had been rushed to the hospital, soaked in sweat and blood, his racing career momentarily put on hold. The injuries were a harsh reminder of the risks he took every time he raced, but the potential rewards were just too great to ignore. The lure of fame, fortune, and glory drove Tom to continue racing, to get back on the track even when the memory of that crash threatened to overwhelm him. And so he continued to race, pushing himself to new speeds, testing the limits of what he could do. He drove through wind and rain, through crowded courses and open roads. Each race was a different adventure a new opportunity to prove himself and show the world what he was capable of achieving. Years passed, and Tom continued to race. He had his fair share of successes and disappointments of highs and lows. But through it all, he knew that car racing was more than just a sport, it was a way of life. It was a passion that burned bright within him and refused to be extinguished. As he prepared for his next race, Tom couldn't help but feel a thrill returning to him. The engine roared to life, the smell of gas and rubber filling the air. He put on his helmet, secured his seat belt, and took a deep breath. This was it, this was what he had been waiting for. 
The flag waved, and Tom hit the accelerator, his car speeding down the track. He felt the wind rushing through his hair, the G-forces pressing him back into his seat. He pushed the car to its limits, his eyes glued to the finish line, and then it was over he had won. The crowd cheered, and Tom let out a triumphant yell. He had done it, he had achieved another victory, another high in his career. And even as he basked in the glory of his success, he knew that the lows would come again. But that was the nature of car racing the risks, the crashes, the injuries. They were all a part of the thrill, a part of the journey that Tom had dedicated his life to. Question? What are the risks involved in car racing? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4 The Equipment Needed for Car Racing As Tom geared up for his next race, he knew that having the right equipment was crucial to his safety and success. He inspected his car meticulously, checking every detail, ensuring that it was in optimum condition for the race. In addition to the car itself, Tom also had to make sure that he had the proper safety gear. This included helmets and fireproof suits that could protect him in case of a crash or a fire. He had to ensure that the suits were properly fitted and that the helmets were comfortable to wear. Other equipment, such as tools for maintenance and repairs, were also needed. Tom kept an extensive set of tools handy, both at the track and in his garage, so that he could make any necessary repairs or adjustments to his car quickly and efficiently. He knew that every second counted in a race, and he couldn't afford to waste time on repairs that could have been avoided with proper maintenance. Before every race, Tom checked and double-checked his equipment, ensuring that everything was in its proper place, and that he was ready for whatever the race might throw at him. He knew that car racing was a dangerous sport, and that he had to be prepared for anything that could happen on the track. As he took his place on the starting line, Tom felt the adrenaline coursing through his veins. The equipment that he had meticulously checked and maintained was now his lifeline. He trusted in it completely, knowing that it would keep him safe and give him the edge he needed to win. As the race began, Tom pushed his car to its limits. He felt the rush of wind in his face, the rumble of the engine, and the pull of the G-forces as he hurtled around the track. He knew that his safety gear would protect him if he crashed, and that his tools were ready and waiting for any repairs that might be necessary. Car racing was more than just a sport. To Tom, it was a way of life. He had dedicated his life to it, and he knew that success on the track was only possible with the right equipment. As he crossed the finish line, securing another victory, he knew that his attention to detail and dedication to his craft had made all the difference. Tom knew that car racing was not for the faint of heart. It demanded focus, discipline, and a complete dedication to safety. With the right equipment and the right mindset, however, it was the thrill of a lifetime. Tom couldn't imagine doing anything else, and he knew that he would continue to race as long as he was physically able. Question. What are the essential equipment for car racing? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5 The Future of Car Racing The future of car racing looked shrouded in uncertainty. Automation was fast becoming a reality, and the technology that ultimately heralded self-driving cars was rapidly reaching its peak. But would it ever be able to replace skilled drivers? To many, the answer was a resounding no. Car racing had always been about the thrill of the ride. The feeling of taking a machine to the limits of its capabilities, pushing the boundaries of what was possible, and coming out on top. It was a dance between man and machine, and it was something that couldn't be replicated by an automated system. Electric cars had already begun to make their mark on the industry, with many teams transitioning from fossil fuels to more sustainable options. But even these sleek, energy-efficient vehicles couldn't replace the raw power and adrenaline rush that came with traditional race cars. Sure, technology had its benefits, 
but when it came to car racing, it was the human element that made the sport so exciting. It was the ability to adapt to changing conditions, to make split-second decisions, and to take calculated risks that set great drivers apart from good ones. But even as many clung to the past, a new generation of drivers and enthusiasts were embracing the possibilities that technology offered. They saw the potential for self-driving cars to enhance the sport, freeing up drivers to focus on strategy and finesse rather than just speed. The debate raged on, but in the end, it was up to the public to decide the future of car racing. Would they continue to crave the thrill of traditional races, or would they embrace the forward-thinking worldview of automation and electric cars? One thing was for sure, though, as the sport evolved and changed, skilled drivers would always be in demand. They were the true masters of the track, the ones who could take any vehicle and make it sing. While technology offered new opportunities, it could never replace the human element that made car racing great. As the sun began to set on another race day, the roar of engines slowly fading away, everyone knew that the future of car racing was still up in the air. But they all agreed on one thing the sport would continue, and it would continue to be a powerful force for excitement, passion, and skill for generations to come. Question. What is the future of car racing and how will it evolve? Check the video description.